It's here, the building right in front of us. Watch out, Mr. Rock. Hey, that's a collectible ad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now that's a cool hover bike. When I was young, I always dreamt of riding one of these. Still do, actually. That looks dangerous to me. I thought these were illegal. I uh, can't make a real living without some risks. Nice, an ad coupon. Where are you going, Mr. Brock? That elevator thing. <clears throat> I didn't have that one. Let's look around. Sure. Lasers. Hmm. Maybe we... Huh? Someone heard us. Let's enter. We're here to investigate. No kidding, man. The chief of police said he'd send his best investigators. I didn't expect to see a darn croc and an ugly boy. <laughs> Watch your tongue. We're here to help. Uncle Wes sent us. You can call him to check. No point. I know the old weasel. I shouldn't be surprised. No time to waste. Fill us in on the situation. Yeah, I should have guessed it wouldn't take time for that either. A squealer. Uh, given my recent experience, I'm not used to trusting those guys. Is he any different? I've been meaning to ask, what's a squealer doing here in the drums? None of your business! Just mentioning. I thought your clan had been banished from the whole country. What clan? I'm forbidden from regular jobs just because some others screwed up years ago? Well, I, uh... Shut up. You know nothing. I hate people like you. All focused on looks. Empty brains. Ooh, seems like a touchy subject. Better not insist. Is he hiding something from me, though? I'll have to find out. One of the two engineers living here has disappeared. Living? Aren't they supposed to work here? Same. They never leave the place. What makes you think the situation is serious? I do regular room checks. During my last one, I just couldn't find Dr. Hutt. Couldn't he just be hiding somewhere? Man, don't take me for an amateur. I I've looked all over the place. Besides, the guy's medical device has stopped indicating any vitals for hours. <laughs> Maybe he arranged his escape and left while he didn't look. Impossible. As you've seen, lasers block the entrance constantly. Even the engineers aren't allowed to leave without permission, which is by request to us agents. Well, Dr. Hush didn't make any such request. That place sounds like prison. Nah, I know those intellectual types. They don't mind dedicating their whole life to working on their crazy projects. The shade is a good example of that. I'm pretty sure they asked for it. The croc is correct. They said to me once that studies have proven this way of living enhances creativity. To me, that's just an excuse to do whatever they want, but the heck do I know? The barriers are for their own protection from outside threats. Yeah, totally not paranoid. You should know. That fits the description of most drummers. Can't blame them with all those drones roaming outside. But they created this situation themselves. Are you the only guard in this place? I prefer the term security agent. Whatever. Answer the question. Fortunately not. I couldn't stand being here all day. But there's only one of us at a time. The scientist was there when I arrived this morning. 
He disappeared during my shift. Has this situation happened before? I don't think so. I mean, those scientists may be crazy over the edge. They're locked up in here, so that limits the possibilities. Anything you can tell me on that missing engineer, Dr. Hush? Just your average scientist in his 40s. Pretty sure his only family and friends are his bot prototypes. Bots? He's making them? Not exactly. He specialized in AI programming. He occupies the room on the left. When was the last time he was seen? I arrived this morning at 3 a.m. When I take my shift, I always check on him. He was there. So, you saw him? Are you certain? Yeah, in the flesh. Did he exit his room after that? Yeah, I saw him go to the restroom. His medical tracking stopped at around 5 a.m. That thing isn't very precise, so uh, it could have been one or two hours before or after. What? With all the advanced technology available, you'd think this would be accurate. It's called living privacy. Even if you're dead? I won't pretend to know your job, Croc Detective, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. You better darn well be alive. I can't afford losing my job. About Dr. Hush, what else can you tell me? Don't know. You'd better take a look at this room. That should tell you more about the character. Got it. You mentioned two engineers, didn't you? Yeah, Dr. Mink is the other one. He's working on nanobots. Kind of the I-know-it-all type. How do they get along? They don't. They're like cats and dogs. Always bickering over stupid things. Yet, they've never asked to be moved to another lab. I guess it's just a game of rivalry. Uh, let's hope so. Anyone else here? Nope. All visitors are required special permissions. And that includes drone deliveries. No one entered or exited the building until your arrival. Why would you need deliveries if you've got a pipe mail in the hall? Some packages still can't pass through there, you know. Could somebody use it to escape? No way! You'd have to be cut into pieces. And that would surely leave some traces around. Ugh, right. Are you certain there's no escape route? Yeah, the windows are fake. The labs are not connected in any way. They made sure of this when building the place. The only access is the main entrance you came from. Never has been any other way. Never say never. Take a gamble. I'd bet a hundred unis on this. I usually wouldn't say no, but can't afford to take that risk right now. Shame. I'll take a look around. Not too soon. You better solve this fast. I was supposed to finish my shift one hour ago. I won't get paid for this overtime. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Let's look around. Sure. What the? Hey, what are you doing, man? Oh, nice flowers. These make me feel nostalgic for some reason. Hmm. When taking a closer look, it's exactly the same. Recipient for the pipe? Huh. As empty as my willingness to examine it. The recipient. A pipe mail? In the middle of the hall? Those guys receive shipments all the time. Mostly aimed for the material printers, but also their junk food. <laughs> it's very practical. Can't see anything special about it, but it's shut. Any way to open it? Nah, it's totally automatized. And only goes one way. The only thing those scientists produce is information. They never need to send anything physically. Uh, makes sense. Uh, 
Whose room is this? Dr. Hush's. The guy who disappeared? Let's have a look. This bot is the one displayed on the screen? I'll try turning it. Warning! Do not disturb until charge is complete. Oops. You should listen, Mr. Brock. Otherwise, we might damage it. Oh, I didn't have that one. An animated painting. I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. Looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me. What's in there? Nothing in particular. And there are crumbs all over the table. Even on the floor, you'd think scientists would be less clumsy. An animated... Looks rough. You'd think such valuable personnel would get decent quality mattresses. That's a collectible ad. Oh, so this adds some kind of ramp? Huh. Hmm. A vent, maybe? Some kind of grease spot. Tastes like coffee. That's Dr. Hush's? Seems locked. Some information is displayed. Tidy. 90% charged. Do not disturb until charge is complete. It's apparently been charging since 5.10 in the morning? Parts for experiments, maybe? Parts for... Nice! An ad coupon! I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. Looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me. What's in there? The restroom. I'll have a peek. Hmm. No one's there. I'll examine this room later. It won't open. Huh? I hear music. A loud beat. Pretty catchy. Go away. I'm busy. Huh. Open. Now. Are you such a nice way to introduce yourself mind if I enter uh, of course I mind I'm in the middle of something important like dancing hmm. I'm here to get out mm -hmm. you again I wasn't clear enough I'm the deliverer got pizza for you impossible all our orders are delivered through the pipe pill. Oops. You again? I wasn't clear enough. No. Leave me alone, reptile. Listen, you got two seconds to step aside. Or else, I might start getting a bit angry. And there ain't any punching bags around to vent my frustration. <laughs> Right. Please, don't hurt me. Yep. 
So, why are you here? Huh? What the? Guard! Hey! What's going on? <gasps> Dr. Hush! Oh, this is impossible! Oh my gosh! Is he? Hmm. Well, case solved. But that doesn't make any sense! So much for looking all over the place, huh? I swear, he wasn't there. It's true! What the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what. Dr. Hush is dead as a doornail. That can't be. Murder in the drums? Now I get it. Min, you wouldn't let me in when I checked this morning. Seems like you had a very good reason for that. Are you accusing me? You're out of your mind. There's a corpse in your room, man. What do you have to say about that? Now, now, relax. This murder case is in my hands. Let's not jump to conclusions. Guard, block all exits. Already done, Big Snout. Then, block all communications from outside. Nobody enters or exits this building. And no data, either. On my way. And you, stay here. Don't move an inch. Oh, you can't be serious. I've got a ton of work ahead. I'm late on schedule. Hmm. Oh, of course a simple mind like you wouldn't understand it. Your colleague is dead. At this stage, all I can say is that you're a suspect. But even if you're innocent, what do you think might happen if I don't find the culprit? Who's to say you're not the next one on the list? Ooh. Mm. Rats. Even dead. That guy keeps aggravating me. You're the only one who can explain the tech-savvy stuff, so... I'll save you time. I'll follow you around so you can keep an eye on me. Good. I'm impressed, Mr. Brock. Even with all that, you keep your cool. Uh, yeah? Did you already solve a murder case before? Not that I can remember. Um, but I watched some noir livies when I was young. Seemed like the appropriate things to say. Oh. Well, you're still pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, why is this happening to me? Can't I have a normal day for once? You okay? Well, I didn't expect to investigate a murder on my first day. It's both neat and kind of scary, knowing there's a killer around us. You don't mind me staying close? Of course. Thanks. What's this? Some kind of apparatus? Ah, oh, I see it now. That's one of those old-fashioned lamps. Right next to the body. Blood? That would make sense if it bumped into his head. Looks like he's been hit right there. With enough strength, could be enough to kill. Hmm. I can't see anything important. Nice... Hmm. Nice hands, though. He's not holding anything, but... Huh. There's some black stains on his fingers. Whoa! His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Hey, this is really dirty. Well, no fleas or ticks. Blood here? Maybe it got there after the impact. No breathing. Poor guy. Looks I should take a closer look at that stain. No br- Poor. Looks like he was bludgeoned from behind? I should take a closer look at that stain. Empty pockets. I've rarely seen dead bodies. But I would have thought he'd be more stiff. Ah. 
I'm just straining my eyes for nothing. Don't touch this. Why? Does it bite? Don't play stupid. Can't you see that's my work tablet? It contains confidential information. So? Do you have any idea what could happen if it fell in the wrong hands? No. But I'm the detective here, so I'm not giving you a choice. Okay. Go ahead. Put your greasy hands on it. Uh, I can't do anything. Is it locked? Yes, obviously. There's security. Well then, unlock it. No. What? Listen, buddy. I'm in no mood for jokes. So do your part. Or this little friend of yours may accidentally end up stuck in your face. If you insist. Hm. There. So? On second thought, uh, I can't understand any of it. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. At first glance, I don't see anything suspicious. This is some research data on power efficiency of nanites. Okay. In any case, I don't see any blood on this tablet, unless it's been wiped off. I doubt this is a crime weapon. No! You think? Can't exclude any possibility. Watch out! Huh? I'm working with acidic solutions. Better not put a finger in it. May I put a leg in? No! I thought you were specialized in nanotechnics. Nanotechnology. Yeah, that. Small robots. Why the chemicals then? Nanites act on a molecular level. Oh, so you're making liquid robots? Hmm. Hmm. I guess you could strangle someone with those wires? See any strangulation marks on the body? Not really. Oh, I didn't have that one. I heard some sound coming from the room earlier. Must have been output from there. I guess Dr. Mink was listening to music? Oh, don't tell me. These are... Uh... Things. Nanites. Also called nanobots. Yeah, close enough. What are these for? Are you serious? We've been using them for ages. Now that you mention it, I think Leah used them in conjunction with medicine. Yes, their main usage is health. Inject them, and they can repair your body from the inside. Nito. Well, there's a recurring rumor in our nanobot community. A scientist would have succeeded to take direct control of a host through the use of nanites. Sounds scary. Indeed. But let me reassure you, this never happened. If someone had truly made such a discovery, he'd be the most famous scientist in the world. So you didn't? I wish. Hey, there are tons of those tiny bots in there. Did you really need a magnifying glass to find out? Ugh, really not my kind of art. You have no taste. Hey, that's a collectible ad. A ray of light? Yep, ten feet of enjoyment. Ever heard of ray therapy? The hot temperature reduces stress and prevents aging. Could this be used to hurt someone? At maximum power, it could burn your skin. Not killing someone, though. Maybe if you were to spend years underneath it. That glove. It's for manipulating 3D objects in holograms. How do you think we build our prototypes? What about the headset? A diagnosis tool. Nanomachines reproduce the behavior of insects. In particular, they make barely audible sounds depending on the situation. This amplifies their noise, so I can make it out. 
Why do I even bother explaining? Sorry. Had some bad sleep lately. Are you crazy? Mr. Brock, there's no time to sleep. Just, uh, testing if something is unusual about this bed. So? It's, uh, unusually comfortable compared to mine. What do you think you're doing? Get out of my bed, now! Why? Got anything to hide? Fine. Have a rest. You'll just have to explain to your superior why this investigation is taking so long. Man, you're no fun. Nothing on the bed. But surprisingly, nothing under the pillow either. Do you do the laundry yourself? Are you kidding? We've got a bot for this. I've never heard of any human doing it. Right, uh, I, uh, I don't do it either. And that's, that's why my bed gets smellier over time. Is that blood? It looks stretched. Oh, I've seen more speakers than I can bear for one day. What's that? A vent? Yes. We're stuck in here all the time. The air has to recycle somehow. Flowers hanging from the ceiling are leaking into this sink. The juice from Hengalus Wallace boosts focus and memory. Oh, it's so refreshing. I just can't do without it. Want some? Definitely. Help yourself. Hmm. Feels like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's eating cakes with all the flavors in the world. Right? Hmm. Delicious. Hmm. Uh, hey, hold on. Don't drink too much. With a high concentration in your body, weird things start to happen. But it's so good. Hmm. I want more. Huh? My voice. What happened to it? I told you. Now you'll sound like a little girl for the next few minutes. Oh well. It was worth it. <laughs> what? Wait! Don't do this! Do it. You have any idea what you've just done? This was my ration for today. Now I'll be all out of juice. I... I'll have to lick the whole surface of the sink this evening. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's an addict. Hey, there's an ad stuck in the drain. Dr. Mink, I have a few questions to ask you. I was afraid you were going to say that. But first, please swear to tell the truth. Of course, I always do. Liars always end up contradicting themselves and revealing the truth. I do not want to waste time. Neither mine nor yours. Very well. He doesn't really look trustworthy. I better try and squeeze the facts out of him. See if there are contradictions in his statements. How long have you been working here? Since I majored in research. About five years ago. We've both been selected to join this high-ranked facility. The kind of opportunity that you can't turn down. So you've known each other for a long time? Yes, although we've never really been close. Does this mean you don't like each other? No, that's irrelevant. We just do our jobs and are entirely dedicated to it. We dedicate our lives so that humanity can progress. No friends? No family or children either? <laughs> Loving a single person. Raising a handful of individuals. We cannot afford to live such a petty life. We will be immortalized for our work forever. It will impact the lives of thousands, possibly even millions. But, but, but. No, but. I made this choice years ago, and I never regretted it for a second. What a sad way to live. So, uh, what kind of scientist are you? I specialize in nanotechnology and biology. Anything that can help humanity to live longer. We've been studying them for decades. However, 
A groundbreaking discovery was made in... Uh, sorry, Doc. I'd prefer to stick to the matter at hand. <laughs> what can you tell me about Dr. Hush? He's my... Well, he was my colleague. He was dealing with macro-robotic, while I'm dealing with nano. We've been selected to work in the same building, as we're complementary. And how is your relationship lately? I see where you're going. Yes, it was a bit tense. Why? Well, the government started shifting the funding to scientific projects. In particular, they reduced the budget for nanotechnology projects in favor of AI research. So this directly impacted your experiments? Listen, that's true. We've always had some disagreements. But even with the budget alterations, I didn't hold a grudge against him. Actually, he's the one who changed. He barely talked to me anymore. And when he did, the situation got tense. Lately, I could swear he was even trying to avoid me. I just figured he was too busy. But now, oh, I could never imagine he would end up like this. Any idea what could have happened? Honestly, not the slightest. I was here all day. He wasn't. I'm sure of it. Well, the corpse is in the middle of your room. You should have seen him enter at some point. No, I, I swear. It's like he magically appeared behind me when you entered the room. Magic, huh? I know how this sounds, but you've got to believe me. Right now, I don't believe in anything other than facts. You're a doctor, right? Depends. I need that medical prescription cancelled or something like that. You mean updated? Yeah, that. Well, I'm not that kind of doctor. Darn. But you're in luck. I've got just the thing. You do? Great. Give me this. There you go. Already? Thank you. You're a lifesaver. And I mean, literally. Take this into consideration when solving this case. Uh, that wouldn't be very neutral. But I'm grateful. Thanks. Sure. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. Trash grinder. I wonder why the blades are so close to the surface. That paper didn't get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger with extra tomato sauce. My favorites. What do we have inside? Huh? A button? That's all? Of course. What did you expect? Usually our health chip will detect any problem and send whatever we need immediately. This button is only for use in extreme situations, which are technically unthinkable. Like a power outage, a meteorite falling down, or even... Hmm. A fire? Yes, even less probable. Press this and you'll get a package delivered to the closest pipe to provide health cure basics. If such a situation happened, would you even know how to use that minimal package? Hmm, probably not, but who cares? It's not like it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. I heard a sound. Are you sure? All I could hear was a bomb caused by your fist. Only one way to find out. So, where's the package? An energy drink? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I thought communication was out. Hey, buddy, you pressed the emergency button, didn't you? 
Emergency calls are never cut off. Oh, good. I'm always thirsty. Hmm. Nothing? Try pressing harder. Remember, this is for emergencies. Hmm. I'm thirsty. This isn't exactly a vending machine. No. Who cares? As long as I get what I want. An ad? Uh, and here I thought I couldn't be worse than the first time. Nice! An ad coupon! This is... Um... A shower? What? No! A showlet. You mean... This combines a shower and a toilet? Oh, I get it now. You're from a far away country, right? <laughs> Something like that. I've been out of touch with technology advances lately. Well, it's a huge space and time saver. Enter the cabin and let it take care of you. The robotic hand removes your clothes. Then feel free to let it go while it washes you. When finished, it gives you new clothes. Seems... convenient. Clothes. Ugh, they're smelly. Don't touch that. Our maintenance bot will do the laundry. A map of the building? I'll take it. It's hard to believe high-tech facilities still use hard paper maps. Makes sense in the eventuality of a power breakdown, though. I remember this. A holographic display to watch Livy's. Wow! To watch a Livy, say or think meaty, followed by the title. Hmm. You're not seriously considering it, are you? I sense someone disagrees with your choice. Would you still like to start watching hilarious fairy tales? Um, no thanks. The thoughts detection still doesn't work very well. Yeah, must be that. Other actions are available. Say or think help to get a list. This is a waste of time. Shouldn't you be looking for clues? I'm working on it. A box of ants. Alive. My favorites. Very fresh and punchy. I thought you'd use them for experiments. We do. But nothing wrong with taking a snack sometimes. <laughs> I'm starting to like you. One for the glory. Hey! You can't steal that! Not stealing. I'm, uh... gathering clues. A wardrobe on this side of the fridge. Nothing unusual, but... Oh boy. Those clothes are one heck of a pack. You couldn't even fit a paper between them. Inside, there's tons of coffee. Powder, more precisely. What did you expect? Dunno. A toothbrush, maybe? Toothbrush? Like a brush to clean our teeth? How silly! Why not a feet brush, then? Their water is so full of chemicals that they lost their need for it. Oh, I didn't have that one. A 
wardrobe on this side of the fridge. It what are you doing? Just checking what could have sunk in there. Smells like coffee. Great. Yep, there was coffee in there. So, what does this mean? That someone drank coffee? Oh, I would have thought someone was in the restroom recently, and you'd ask the staff who drank it. Yeah, sounds good. Did you drink that coffee, Mink? It's Dr. Mink for you. And yes. When, exactly? Around 4.40. I always get a bit peckish during Techno Junkie. Is that some kind of show? Yes. It lasts for 30 minutes, approximately. So I must have went out of the restroom at around 5. But restroom doesn't have its coffee machine. Knowing them, I bet this produces other drinks, too. No, just coffee. Really? We don't need anything else. Designing it for other uses would be a waste of resources. Uh, good point. No nanite on that coffee cup? This shouldn't be a surprise. And yet... Using his favorite magnifying glass, the detective finds nothing. The heck? It's full of nanite stuck in that sink. Not only this, there seems to be some kind of flower. Dr. Mink must have flushed some experiments. What? No, I've never done such a thing. I have my own sink. Then, what are they doing here? Beats me. Hey, there seems to be a few on that machine. Maybe I'll find some more around here. Oh, nice flowers. These make me feel nostalgic for some reason. <laughs> An ant. Hmm, that's a good snack. Got more questions. Stay put. I don't have all day, you know. Tight. 100% charged. It's apparently been charging since 5.10 in the morning? Last connection, 4.45. Parts for experiments, maybe? That's amazing. Not a single part is jutting out of this furniture. This could be called an organized mess. Dr. Hush is a maniac. He hates when something isn't where it belongs. So he taught his maintenance bot to tidy items like this. I remember him going insane once because I didn't put my coffee exactly at the center of the table. Yeah, well, all scientists are a bit eccentric. What do you mean? I'm not eccentric. There's an exception to each rule. Hmm. You do have a point. Rock one, scientist zero. <laughs> Some kind of grease spot. Did you just lick the floor? Mm, gotta be certain. Well, that's coffee. Wait. How come there's a ton of nanites on this particular coffee spot? Energizing biscuits. Dr. Hush must have been eating them before disappearing. There are crumbs all over the table. Even on the floor. You'd think scientists would be less clumsy. I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. It looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me.
What's in there? Nothing in particular. That thing, it's blinking green. Does this mean... YOLO! No? Huh? You seem surprised and unsafe. Do not worry. I do not fight. I am glad to see a new face. It has happened zero times since I was born. Oh, so you're... Dr. Hush's assistant, Tidy. I tidy things up, left, down, right. Yup, yup. I see. Mind if I ask a few questions? I do not, do not mind. This seems like a sympathetic bot, though. Don't really trust those artificial beings. He may be hiding something. I need to find the truth. Let's investigate. Tell me, what can you do, Tidy? Tidy can tidy! Yes, and? Tidy can stretch arms. Like this. Or this. That's pretty cool. I admit it. This must be useful. Hmm. Can you bend them? Ridiculous! Bending robot? No. Vertical. Horizontal. No bend. Daddy cannot. Try. No make. Work. Now. Dead daddy. Um, Tidy? You're bending them right now. Oh? Uh, yes. My mistake. Cannot bend while extending arms. Oh, so what's the exact use? Moving arms, very efficient. No full body move. I see. Must be more practical to grab things scattered in a room. Anything else? Tidy can. Carry objects. Do repairs. Make phone calls. Tidy has sensors to detect humans and objects. Calculate shortest path. Useful to bring the coffee, I guess. Also, Tidy can strip clothes. Uh. Daddy likes getting naked. What did he just say? Please, naked. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. Either he's got a screw loose, or Dr. Hush is an exhibitionist. I wonder. Mr. Brock, what are you writing? Well, uh, it's a clue, so... Daddy, all naked. Yup, yup. So, Dr. Hush built you. Yup, yup. He's my daddy. We love daddy. Where's my daddy? Um. He's dead. Hey, show some compassion for the little guy. What guy? He's a piece of junk. Daddy dead? Well, seems so. We're trying to understand what... Dead daddy! Daddy dead! Dead, 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 daddy! Uh, I thought you'd be... A, a little less joyful? Told you. The thing has no feeling. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! It means no see daddy again? Dead, daddy? <sighs> Look, uh, I know it's hard. Well, maybe not you're not alive but anyway i gotta ask did you hurt your daddy hurt daddy i cannot not 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 no way uh, why are you smiling while saying that uh bug bug changing expression <laughs> dead daddy <laughs> i just can't analyze it him? <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's telling the truth. How can you tell? He keeps changing his face. Daddy is good. No, Daddy is best. I couldn't care less about his body language or 
and spouting nonsense. No robot can harm his creator. Ever. That's the golden rule. Care to elaborate? Surely you've seen all those fantastical lives with robots rebelling against humans. Years ago, when the scientific community started designing bots, they took this into consideration. There's a golden rule. It's implemented in the hardware, encrypted deep within their AI core, and replicated throughout all their parts. No robot can attack their creator. That's true. We've learned this at the Konsk. We do not love Daddy. We do. Okay, so they can't harm their creators. But those pieces of junk sure can harm me. I've had to get my way through Tribots more than once. Of course, there are varied levels of permissions. Permission to tidy. Shh, stay here. The standard bots, host family and friends are included in a second layer to that rule. Police and military Tribots are designed for battle and may attack anyone who is considered a threat. This varies according to model. However, the golden rule is always there. Besides, we've never had any accident. <sighs> never say never. Life has taught me there's always a first to everything. <laughs> what makes you so certain that Dr. Hush respected the no killing convention? Simple. An algorithm thoroughly checks. Algo? Rhythm! Dance! YOLO! It's hardly the moment to dance, Tidy. Anyway, if he didn't comply, he wouldn't be able to communicate with the exterior. Okay. When did you see your daddy for the last time? Morning, 5.04. What was he doing? Daddy, away. Exit room. Did he say anything when leaving? Yup, yup. Retrieving record. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. What? This is impossible! Dr. Hush never even came to my office today! Then how do you explain the fact that he's in your room currently? I, I don't know, but... That bag of screws is lying! I'm gonna tear him apart until... Calm down! Or I shall calm you down myself. <laughs> what were you doing at the time, Tidy? Charge! Power to Tidy! Wait, you said you recorded Dr. Hush while you were charging? That's weird. You were totally shut off when I first found you. Tidy! Several phases of sleep! Like human! Dr. Mink, is that even possible? Yes. We don't shut off machines immediately to compress the data of the day. The same way, it takes several steps before full awakening. But you still shouldn't listen to that bot. It's trying to confuse you. Did your sensors record anything else? Nothing unusual. Hmm. That should be enough for now. Enough, 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 enough. Got work to do. Wait! I forbid you to touch anything. Not daddy, not listening. Get lost. Yup, yup. What? You little piece of. Tidy, stay here. You should not mess with anything right now. Okay, Minky. He obeys you? Of course. Can't say I like it, but that thing is useful. I'm in his close acquaintances list. Oh well, as long as he doesn't move. That's a vent, right? Yes, there's one in my room also. How does that trap open? Hmm, I think you need to press that lever next to it. But that's unreachable. You're supposed to use a ladder. Obviously. There's one attached in my room, but there's not one here. Seems so. I better interrogate Dr. Mink. Why are you telling me? Go ahead.
Dr. Mink, what's your relationship with Tidy? He's the maintenance bot. He just comes and goes doing housework. Did he come today? No. Until your arrival, no one entered my office this morning. Are you certain? Hmm. Actually, the guard did check if everything was okay, like he always does, but he didn't enter. I've noticed the doors close automatically. How does Tidy open them? Just like us, he pushes the buttons. Free to roam around then? Yes. Well, except my room. I deny him access. He must knock at the door first. Then I allow him entry. How come? You know, I don't want a bot bursting into my room in the middle of the night. That would be creepy. Says the creepy scientist. You said Tidy was lying. Is a bot truly capable of lies? Usually, no. But I never programmed it. Keep in mind, Dr. Hush was doing AI experiments. This could also be the result of a bug in the core. Tidy could believe what he says is the truth, based on false information. But you heard the recording. It was Dr. Hush's voice, wasn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Yes, it sounded exactly like him, but... Oh, there must be some explanation. Yeah, I just wish you'd give me one. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others! So? Ready to announce who's the murderer? Almost. Still a few things I need to check. That power socket. It's burnt down. Oh, that's right. I tried hooking up an ancient bot the other day to help me with handling materials. Bad idea. It fried as soon as I hooked it up. What bot? Does it matter? I threw it away a week ago, so it's irrelevant to what's happening. All the other bots in this facility are modern. You mean only old bots can cause this? Yeah. Manufactured pre-autarchism day, I'd say. Interesting. Hmm. Art seems to have an idea. Let's see what he's got. What do you think so far? I've solved this! Really? You haven't? Uh, well, I'd like to hear your conclusion first. Okay, let's gather everyone in Dr. Ming's room. So, what's going on? Found the culprit? I'm going to let my colleague here explain. Huh? Me? You said it. You've solved the case, haven't you? Um... He's just a boy. No, it's true. I can explain. Alright, so... This is a closed-door murder. As you know, no one could enter or leave this place without being noticed. Which means... Only one of us could have done it. Yes. The body was first seen when we entered this room. It appears Dr. Hush has been struck on the head and died due to the impact. Considering there's blood on the lamp located right next to him, this must be the murder weapon. This lamp belongs to Dr. Mink. This implies the murderer had access to it. I don't like where this is heading. Dr. Hush was last seen alive by his assistant bot, Tidy, at 5.04. He never came back to his office. So where did he go? The possibilities are limited. Again, he could not leave the building. The only exit has an impassable power barrier. He couldn't have exited his room and stayed in the hall. It wouldn't make sense, and Mr. Guard would have noticed it. Hmm. Any comment? No. 
I was watching the whole time. Nothing unusual happened. Let's continue. Dr. Hush could have gone to the restroom and been killed there. But that leaves one problem. We didn't find his body there, but in Dr. Mink's room. This means he would have had to be carried to the next room without anyone noticing. If he somehow got carried out of the restroom, Mr. Guard would have noticed it. We've checked the restroom. There's no access between it and Dr. Mink's room. So that leaves only one option. Dr. Hush went straight from his office to Dr. Minx's. Nonsense! He never came here. And yet, here's his body. How do you explain it? I... don't know. I considered other possibilities. Maybe Tidy got involved somehow. After all, he's free to roam between the rooms for his cleaning duty. However, he could not access Dr. Minx's room. He's required to knock, and you need to open it. That didn't happen, right? No. Unless he used Dr. Hush's hand to open the door. Carrying it in the hall seems improbable. The guard was watching. As for you, Doctor, you didn't see or hear them enter. How about you, Ratty? I bet you killed the doctor in the hall and plopped his remains into my room behind my back. Who are you accusing me now? Why'd you think I called the cops if I was the murderer? To disculpate yourself. That's why. You dirty rodent. I'll lose my job because of you. Calm down. I thought about this too. But that idea seems doubtful. Do you seriously think he opened your door with Dr. Hush's body in his hands and then threw it all the way there without you noticing? <laughs> Which leaves only one person who could do it. You, Dr. Mink. Ah, you're out of your mind, boy. I said it. I've never killed anyone. Drop it, Mink. You're done for. Drop? Up, down, left, right. And what would be my motive? Very simple. Mr. Guard mentioned hearing constant arguments between you both. We've been bickering over the past five years. That's no proof. Remember, Tidy's recording. Dr. Hush came to your room to settle things with you. He must have been fed up of hearing you complain about the budget restrictions on your projects. You seriously think this is a valid reason to kill someone? You're right. It wouldn't. For ordinary people. But you're entirely focused on your work. This is all your life. You can't afford to lose it. Dr. Hush profited from a higher budget while yours decreased. Tensions moved up a notch. You couldn't take any more. You grabbed the closest thing within reach. Your lamp. And then, bam! Ah. This was most likely an accident. You hadn't prepared for this. So you didn't know what to do with the body. Panicking, you hid it under your bed. This would give you time to think. Under the bed? Only an idiot would do that. Seems like the best hiding spot to me. Guard, what do you think? You check the room regularly, right? Hmm. I did, but the weasel wouldn't let me in. If the body was under the bed, then yes, I wouldn't have seen it from here. You can't prove any of this. Sure we can. Right there. A trace of blood on the floor, exactly between the bed and the body. Why else would that be there? What the... it's true! There was only one way to make him disappear without anyone noticing. The acid canister. To liquefy the body and pour it down the sink. No! I never... These are for my experiments. When we arrived, you would just move the body out of your bed to throw the deadly substance on the poor chap. Remember, Mr. Brock, he wouldn't let us in. Which makes perfect sense now. Mr. Detective, please, don't tell me you agree with this. So, have you been paying attention? You know, 
I've been wondering something for a while now. What are you looking at? Your tie, Dr. Mink. There's a red stain underneath it. What? Hey, the croc is right! But wait! This isn't what you think. I... I ate an ant burger this morning. I wiped the stain away. I just forgot to check under here. This is tomato sauce. Are you taking us for fools, Mink? Hey, wait! What the heck? <laughs> My tie! You... licked it? Hmm. At least... You believe me now, don't you? <laughs> oh my, what are you doing, Mr. Brock? Brocky is gross! Mm, just as I thought. This is no blood. Told you! Not just on your tie. There's no blood on this corpse. What? The heck? Are you serious? Check it for yourself. No, I believe you. But then, my theory... Has faults, I'm afraid. Gigantic ones. Oh. I had a feeling this seemed way too perfect. This case is more complex than we thought. Someone's been trying to cover himself. What a relief. However, this means we took the wrong approach. Don't tell me. We need to re-examine this place from top to bottom. No way! Are you aware I'm not getting paid right now, Croc? Oh, I should be home, sleeping! I don't care. This may be one more hour of work for you, but this could mean the death penalty for the ones sent to jail. Exactly! And your insistence to leave makes you even more suspect to my eye. Ah, better be gone before I... Tidy, you better go back to your room. And no tidying, okay? Tidy follows orders. Gone. No tidy. Thank you, Mr. Detective. You saved my skin. Don't congratulate me too soon. You may still very well be the culprit, just trying to confuse us to appear innocent. Hmm. I'll just have to put my trust in you, then. When you're done, and you've got a plausible theory that doesn't involve me this time, come and see me. Come on, Nott. We better examine each and every detail thoroughly this time. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>